Hey everybody, today's deck that we're showcasing is my Reveal and Wait deck. It's for Amir. Amir is kind of a hard leader to use, and that's why I had such a really rough time using him earlier today. I like yesterday when I was testing different decks out, I had like a 95% loss rate. It's huge. Against Clan Turzok Axeman, it's possible to win. But it's not going to be easy. So the main strategy of this deck is to get as much card advantage as possible and to thin your deck as much as possible so you can get Siri Dash onto the board. If your opponent's playing big stuff, you have Geralt Igni and Scorch to deal with it. There's a lot of power decks out there and there are cape and decks with significant enough control that they can get rid of your Maganels. You might notice that there are not very many reveal cards in this deck. There are only four. Uh, the Manganels and Cynthia. So the reason for this is that once you've got all that revealing done, you're going to play Amir Far Emerus and one time. And it's going to be three cards revealed and it's going to do all the damage you need. And I think that's enough really. You don't need more power on the board than that from that swing. And the later the game goes, the worse reveal cards become. Even the 11 point card is not really worth it. You're going to play a lot of um, spies in this deck and the Nausicaa Brigades are going to help you with that. One of the important spies is going to be Iris. When you kill Iris with the Nausicaa Brigade, you'll get that buff on your side of the board. It can protect you from things like Herald. Also, if you hold anything onto the board with Combat Engineer, Iris dying will buff it. And that buff will apply to the Resilient Unit. That's why Iris is actually pretty good in a monster deck. Since her um, ability goes off for like after the round ends and you keep stuff on the after the round so what other things can we talk about well we could talk about we could talk about octopus octopus is there there for card advantage and also is another way to kill iris cantarell is for card advantage octopus for deck thinning and power you can get the combat engineer and apply it to whatever hakim devet gets i think the emissaries are actually really bad Right now, they're worse than I thought they would be, because they're just a—they're just like a—they're just a worse first light in many cases. That's why we put the Nausicaa brigades to kind of negate whatever strength they gave. It puts them up to nine, which is slightly better than an average bronze bronze unit. We have the Blizzard potion just in case our opponent plays Weather. We can get rid of their giant ancient foglets this way because you just take away their Weather re re Weather immunity. If we're up against Clan Turistock Axeman, we have Scorch and uh, Geralt Igni as an answer. That's about it. We could try different things in this. We have the option to put in Aromancy. Aromancy is just really bad against weather decks, and so Scorch is a little bit more flexible. More, most decks are going to get more power on the board than we will. So Scorch is generally a safe card to play. Um, one of the strategies you're going to do with this is you're going to get all of this card advantage and you're going to play things like Cantarella and then you're just going to put a Menno out and it's just dead. That's your version of Clavit's leader ability. It's weaker than Clavit's leader ability but it will at least win you the round and that's what's important. So without further ado we're going to get to play some games. We're going to try to play two games. Um, let's try our best to win. One of the problems I have is I lack patience. And despite what Amir says, um, <laughs> and patience is absolutely necessary to play his deck. You gotta think about what you're doing at all turns. There is but one punishment for traitors. So we're gonna have to keep our weather cards in hand in case we're up against... Ooh, yes. We're up against the weather deck if that's... Uh, yeah, we want to keep Ambassador on our hand because it's a bad pull. Otherwise, Cantarella and an Emissary. Okay. 
So we don't have any bad pulls with Emissary now, since we have the two cards that are risks. You don't want to pull an Ambassador with an Emissary because it doesn't buff anything. And you don't want to pull a Combat Engineer. Uh, because you, again, won't be able to apply it to anything unless it's on the board already. Okay. Uh, hmm. We have to play Siri Dash oh, first. Oh, I sense trouble. There are two ways we can deal with this. We can either you want to tickle okay. me. Please wait, Your Excellency. I'm falling behind. Okay. I want him to fly one weather. Okay. Once he flies weather, we can scorch. So we're gonna now scorch. Now I'll get rid of the Ancient Foglet and Sarah. We're going to hope that we can keep this unit on the board. Death comes to you. We didn't get it. But that happens. Um, let's see if we can get a Cantarilla to stay. I like to improvise. We don't have any, we can't use, we don't want to use Amir's leader ability. We don't have to. Okay. We're gonna buff up our units. Burak. Now, this does make me vulnerable to Geralt Igni, so we're going to try to avoid situations like that. of him and he's used more weather cards now if he passes that's bad for me but I can live I can live with that Spoiled intruders. Okay, we're going to uh, now play our combat engineer. We're going to put down Iris eventually. We don't need a, we don't want to play anything else that will uh, encourage him to <laughs> this. Basically, we want him to keep playing stuff as much as possible. Our next round will be Arcfist. We're up against a, a pretty big, uh, new player, but weather is a weakness when you don't draw into any of your first lights. Our opponent might have a Scorch, because they... I'm, I'm, I'm confused. Uh, okay, our opponent ran out of time is what happened. Okay. I'm going to play Siri. I mean, Irish. I'm so Iris. Very, very afraid. Why are you afraid of Iris? Your sadness. What does sadness have to fear? I forgot exactly how he got more power than me. Okay. I'm gonna play Amorous. Okay. 
here's a way to get answer. Boom. Win. We pass. We lost the card advantage, but we can play Octopus next round. Get our card advantage back. We also have a 23 power unit on the board, which is going to be vulnerable to Scorch, but my opponent apparently does not have Scorch. Okay. Uh, I'm not mad about either of these. We can push out a that, I think. We're going to play that. We're going to hope we get a first light out of Cantarella. We want to see what our opponent's last three cards are. Why do I have four cards in my opponent's six? Okay. Let us see. Okay. Oh, clear weather. Why do I always get clear? Why do I always do that? Uh, that was going to be a really good card if I kept it. Now I put, now I put it to the bottom of the deck. I put the uh, mangonel to the bottom. The Mangano would have been great. Okay, with well, my opponent going to pull. Combat Engineer? Probably be the best. Inari Yalde Crowfair. Your humble servant. Okay, that's good. I don't want him having any weather. That didn't hurt me. Okay. Nothing will stop us. We want to get rid of those so that when I use Amir's leader ability, I'm not going to be so hurt. Okay, we won one. And we got a lot of card advantage back from that round. So you can see how uh, Muren... Uh, no, no. Is that what his name is? We're going to... We're going to push out... Uh, push out this. Are we up against? There's potential that we're up against weather. And I shall flog them in submission. That was unfortunate, but it happens. Did I scare you? So we have weather. You know that. A shame I have no time. Okay. Keep clearing the skies. Keep buffing up his unit. He has to keep playing. He wants to keep ahead. Okay. The easiest answer to this is just to play the combat engineer into that. He pass. There we go. We're going to play Octus first next round. We're going to keep our... Okay, we got a good Siri. That's good. Um... We're going to keep the clear weather, obviously. I'm going to probably drop the Emissary. Okay, that's a good card to have. 
So, we drop oxygen. Give this weather immunity. I'm gonna play Cynthia next. I like to improvise. Okay. We can now play Iris. I exist because Master Dehenna wills it so. I am sadness. We have to pay attention that he might have a Geralt Ard. So, we're gonna play around that. Clear skies again. If he does play Geralt Ard, that's just one of the sacrifices we're going to have to make. We're going to play Amir later into the round. We're going to have to try to play Siri late. Uh, we know that he's buffing up Sarah a lot, but we'll just save Geralt Igni until later. Uh, that's so annoying. Let us see. We do not want this, so we're going to pass up on that. Scorch is much better. Allows us to deal with certain more things if we have uh, Scorch. So, we're going to probably kill our own Cantarella, and then we'll Scorch Sarah. Patience is not a virtue I am known to have. We can see that he has a bunch of points in his hand. There's probably not a lot of ways to deal with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, let's play Siri. We want you him to play enough. as many cards as possible. Ragnar wouldn't hurt me that much. The closer we get to him only having Ragnarok in his hand, the better. We do not know what this card is, though. Interesting. To be the I know he can play Ragnarok to lower the points on the board. Not your lucky day. So it's important to note that Ice Giant is his last card. So we're going to pass. Why are we doing that? Well, since Ice Giant's going to stick, Igni's going to stick. We're not worried about weather because we have gold cards in our hand. So, we're going to wait for him to play his leader ability. And then we're going to just simply... Okay, let's hope we can get Siri Dash. There's another gold card. Eh. We win some, we lose some. Yeah. Instead. So, we're going to start off with just hitting out the Ice Death. Giant. We know he has Ragnarok. That's not a surprise to us. He's going to clear skies into something. Uh, 
Ho, I sense trouble. He can't win now. We know what he has. And so... Oh. Can he win? I think he can win. Ah, darn it. Okay. We're gonna have to hope that whatever we get... There's nothing we can get that can win in this situation, because they all get damaged. We'll probably get an ambassador. Yeah, that's what would happen. Uh, that's our bit. That's our fault. Oh, that was so close. I forgot about the, um... I forgot about the foglets. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if... Oh. Oh, yeah. Clearing weather is so tricky. I'm running into Do a lot of daggons lately. Beg for mercy. I wonder if it's going to be a weather one. Yeah, well, we got our Siri Dash in our starting hand. That's good. We definitely want to keep our... We want to keep our Nausicaa Brigades. We want to keep our emissaries. We want to keep our Hawkins wits. So we're gonna uh, let's drop. Let's drop the scorch. Yeah, this will be good. Okay. So we're gonna start off by playing Siri Dash. You've talked enough. And then we'll get a Hawk and DeWitt. Maybe. Uh, depends. We don't want to get another um, Nausicaa for Rie. We'll play Iris, I guess. And then into Hawk and DeWitt. That way, if we accidentally draw into... Eh, nah. Is, there are a lot of options we have here. We do want a loyal unit. <laughs> so. I am Sadness. So many bad pulls. This deck. Uh, we don't want to use first light, yeah. We want to save that until as late as possible. What is our opponent going to do? It's obviously a weather deck, so weather's obnoxious to deal with. You want to clear skies is at the end of the round, and since we have ways to get card advantage, oh, interesting. Well, that's not going to help him. Please wait, Your Excellency. I'm falling behind. We're not particularly perturbed. Please wait, Your Excellency. I'm falling behind. The North shall tuck tail and beg for mercy. That was not... Uh, I didn't want my units to get killed off too easily. So this will weaken my units off first. I shall flog them into submission. Death comes for you. Okay. We want him to pass as a lo To be Yes. 
I don't know if I have enough strength if I remove the uh, weather effect. Clear skies. We're going to do it on the middle row because they'll get rid of six of his power. Okay. Yes, we lost two card advantage. We do not want Blizzard Potion. Okay. So You talked enough. Okay. Do that. Kind of pass. At last. Oh, that's actually good for us, but Gonna force him to play a card. I hate how he has like this giant card advantage. So you're gonna end up with a foglet. He's gonna have two car uh, one card advantage over us. We can regain it, obviously. Certain cards. Okay. I'm actually going to drop the uh, first light here. This is going to pull. Nausicaa, uh, the uh, Manganel. The Manganel is going to be weak to weather, obviously. Nils God! Yield and save me some time! Please wait, Your Excellency. I'm falling behind. Uh, well, I hope he plays either. Fo if he plays impenetrable, um, if, if he plays weather on the siege row, then we'll just play the um, wizard potion. Resistance is futile. The Empire will be victorious. We know what's in his we know what this card is. We don't know what his Okay. The answer to this, obviously, will be to play Wizard Potion. Which will protect it from being killed. We know what he has. Okay, the best damage we can do is get rid of the nine strength he has. Damn it. Which will make us tie. Strangely enough. We tied. A win, a loss, and a tie. Any last words. No, not really. Oh, that was cute. Yeah, I think Amir needs a little bit work before it is a... He wins a little bit more. Okay. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Bye. Okay. Dinari Mjalde Krofer. Patience is not a virtue I am known to have. Interesting. Okay, we're gonna play some. I'm gonna For the that. Emperor! 
here. Now, if we had a Geralt Igni, this would be so much easier. Play Siri next. My opponent does not know what's in my hand. Oh, oh, I sense trouble. I shall be your eyes, my lord. opponent to pass. If we can make it happen. Okay. Well, this is great. So we're just going to do this. Not your lucky day. Clearing this off. Then we're going to play Stefan Skellen. Our Menno Corin. The Empire will kill will be off my little dude over here. Ah, hopefully he doesn't pass. No, I want to scorch! Man. Maybe I should have played it in a different order. Uh, my opponent thought he was safe. But you need to put in this kind of deck answers to everything. This is one of the reasons why Gale's this week is that he's vulnerable to a bunch of stuff. Oh, God. Okay, I think that's enough games for now. I hope you guys got a good taste of my version of Amir. I lost about a bajillion games before I come to, came to this particular version. It's focused on getting through as much of your deck as possible of, with um, clear weathers and emissaries and Hawken to wits and spies and stuff. Yeah. Next video will be on Clavit. I've been having a lot of success with Clavit. I think Clavit is better than Amir, but Amir is still okay. Still okay, it just needs a little bit of work. Gotta, gotta push it. So that the leader ability isn't always kind of bad. <laughs> uh, sometimes seeing your opponent's hand is useful because I have sometimes assumed my opponent had the I assume the worst case scenario, my opponent has an Igni or a Dimeridium Bomb when they don't. Yeah. Amir lets me get through that. 